little tiny container thing that I got. I feel like I can smell the mint. Oh, cute! Cute! Oh my god, the jars are so big. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I want to start, you know, like there's other things that I want to start doing on my channel. I guess this plays along with my like values or whatever, just like my lifestyle, I guess. And one of those things is like <clears throat> cutting down on my waist and like obviously the ideal would be zero waist. I just feel like that's kind of impossible, you know, in our modern day world. I've just become a lot more conscious like over the past few years or so. One of the biggest parts of my life that I changed and I think, I feel like it's the easiest to change for like people that are wanting to like go a little bit um, more low waist and like just want to like, you know, dip their feet in the water and stuff like that. And that's like definitely like the personal care, like dental hygiene or the shower too. Like, yeah, because I use bar soap now, which is like crazy, but that means I only use one product, which is kind of more. So yeah, I don't know. There's like... There's like things, I've like come to realize that these things are actually kind of like helpful too, if that makes sense. Like they're more time efficient, water efficient, obviously. Cause I've kind of like start to build up a whole less waste dental routine, I guess. The first product that I used or that I changed was da -da -da, floss. And I feel like this is like the major thing because like come on guys we need to be flossing this is like the first and only little tiny container thing that i got if it will focus maybe a little no lucky teeth find your teeth because that's the brand that i got this from lucky teeth i've just been um refilling it with like either like i because i did i did purchase it again from this brand once but i also feel like you know it's all the same size, you know, you can just like pick out any brand that sells like repli like refills of the floss, of silk floss. And so yeah, so I this is the one that I, I just purchased like recently. I tried a few different brands, but I just wanted to try this one. This one they were selling from a, a local zero slash low waste store in like my community. What I've seen is that they come in like these little paper. What is this called? Parchment paper? I don't know. Yeah, and I need to probably refill it soon because obviously you can tell it's running out. This is what it actually looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's for it's for the low waist, right? But then at the same time, it's just like you realize how cute you feel using this, you know? It's just like this tiny little glass bottle. And then all you have to do is just change out the little like thing, like when it's when it like runs out and then you just feel so like like it makes me feel like special i guess and I, I just so i don't know it's so cool I, I yeah i don't know i don't know if i sound crazy um you know and i also have the bamboo case and like bamboo toothbrushes i've been trying to figure out which one i like and also like I guess there's like a lot of green washing in those too because like the bristles can still be made out of plastic or something. I don't know, but I, th I still think doing something and like changing at least a little like one thing still makes a difference. I tried, okay, so there was two, there was a few things I tried before I got to like toothpaste tabs and like what I'm gonna unbox. So I first tried paste like in a jar. Um, so yeah, I actually from the same brand Got this. I don't know if you can. It's so glary, but yeah, Lucky Teeth. Yeah, and I don't really re like. This was kind of a long time ago, so I feel like I don't really remember how it was. But I just I don't think I liked it because it was kind of like weird to have like this like little thing and you have to like get it out and all this stuff. And it's kind of it's kind of more like baking soda y, you know. So then I don't know why this was my uh, my next solution i went on the path of like oh maybe i can make my own like diy tooth powder and so i got you know like ben bentonite or benzonite or something ben something clay and xylitol and then just plain old baking soda which i also just found did not work for me either and made my teeth a little weak too it's mostly because of the flavor and the consistency i just didn't like it so then when I found out about tooth, tooth tabs, so on Grove Collaborative, they have like this brand, 
hello hello but this one's just like charcoal toothpaste tablets and here i'll show you what it looks like because i still have like literally one oh <gasps> i don't i literally need to open this this next box because i literally have two tablets or two halves of one tablet left and i just felt really good about this this one just i was like so surprised and it made me really happy to like brush my teeth and i don't know i just feel like it's fun too like i've i've like become kind of excited because it's so easy you just like pop it into your mouth and you start chewing on it and it's just like fun and like i don't know but yeah and i also found this toothpaste tab like brand called bite bite they actually just came out or like a few months ago or a year ago i don't know when this came out but they came out with um one that has this new like chemical i guess that is that has the same benefits as fluoride so i wanted to try this and that's why we're here about to open this box and i'm happy but now my battery looks like it's dying so i have to charge it first see you in a second there's a light on my face now okay so i'm back and let's finally open this because i actually got this like like a week or two ago sorry i'm like smelling it i feel like i could smell the mint or am i just weird okay anyway chemical i don't know what to call it it's like a chemical called NHAP. I mean, they gave like a, like a brief history of it on their website, and I guess it was like made in Japan, like it was an innovation from Japan. I only got, I didn't get like their whole bundle or whatever. I kind of wanted to just get the toothpaste tabs and not like, basically I just wanted to purchase a refill of it so that I could just use, you know, like a container I already have and just, you know, refill that so I don't have to have another container that I have to recycle it now. Oh, oh! <laughs> I dropped things, I'm clumsy. Okay, but they actually didn't have any option to do that on their website, which was kind of weird. Like, I feel like that should be a thing, you know, like... Because usually every, every product has that sort of thing where they're like... Here's the... Here's the first product that you could buy and then here are the refills like on another listing but like no they don't have that anywhere it's kind of just like one option and so what i did was i decided to um just sign up and just buy the subscription version and that's when it after i made that purchase then it gives you an account and then you can like control the subscription of when the next package is going to come to you oh wait i don't want to okay Oh my god, it does smell so strongly of mint. Oh, cute! Cute. Oh my god, the jars are so big. Oh yeah, and they also do have like the smaller, like little, like trial sizes, I guess. But I just, that also kind of defeats the purpose for me if I want to like not get buy as many like containers, you know? But they do have like seasonal flavors, I guess, so that's, that's kind of fun. It's so cute. Every little bit counts. Thanks for choosing to kick the tube and we hope you love your bits. Our, your new jar has four months of smiles inside and it's made to be refilled with our home compostable refill pouches. Yeah, that's something I want to do in the future definitely is compost because apparently that's like one of the best things that you can do. <sighs> this package was shipped with a lower carbon footprint than driving to the store to pick up a plastic tube. Wow. It smells so minty. It smells so much more mintier than the one that I have. Like, this literally smells like, you know, your classic, like, mint toothpaste. This smells more like mint gum, which is probably why it, it's, like, nice to chew, because it kind of feels like you're biting into gum. <gasps> but I'm excited. Oh my god. That was really strong. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have two. So I got... I didn't even tell you what I got, did I? I got toothpaste and I got their mouthwash that comes in tablets too. I don't know which one's which, but yeah, I think it comes with like a little tin. So basically this is like a travel tin. <gasps> toothpaste. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I kind of like their style. It definitely looks like a prescription and I think that's like what it's supposed to look like. Like, you know, like a prescription bottle or something. I don't know. Here they call it NHA. Yeah, but basically, nano hydroxy, hydroxy, uh, hydroxy, I, I don't know. 
is a revolutionary non-toxic fluoride alternative that tackles plaque and sensitivity. You know how I said like I had sensitivity after use like making my own tooth powder? Using this like actually helped too like it, it I didn't really feel sensitivity using this one. 248 bits. Oh my god, they're so much smaller than the, the Hello ones. Because I do like the fact that they're like, it's a glass jar rather than this. Because I like to see like what's inside, like with my, you know, like with this little, and you know, like just by looking at it, how much you have left and stuff. Oh my gosh, so cute. Yeah, wait, I want to smell it. Whoa. That is like crazy mint. Oh my god, no wonder I can smell it out of the package. Aww. Mouthwash bits. So this, I'm pretty sure, is like you take one and you bite it down just like the toothpaste and then you take a sip of water, swish for 30 plus seconds, and then spit. And like think about it, like look at this packaging compared to like a mouthwash bottle that's like huge. They're like, you know, this big and this is just like, boom. <laughs> and then it comes with the little, little tin that says like bite because it's the earth or something. And then like you just, it just like slides open. This is so cute. It's like a tiny little like sardine can. I wonder how different it'll feel compared to the other one. Comparison. Even though I only have like two halves of this. Okay, I'll just show you a half. I, I did feel like the hello ones um, were like really big so that it would give, it would make a lot of product. So that's why I kind of like, in the beginning I was just using half at a time, but then I started I started getting used to it, so then. So yeah, I, get, I think I'll, I'll definitely, obviously I'm gonna start using it because we have to use it every day. And then I'll let you know what my thoughts are. So like just one more thing that I've been meaning to do and while we're on the topic of like, low waist I guess. I have this top. I got this like crocheted top at like a thrift store. Like I don't know maybe some people would cringe because it's a cute shirt but I I think like I could actually make this into like a market bag. Like literally look. Sure. A little market bag. Like one of those you know trendy crochet macrame like bags for produce and stuff. Like I literally think I could just sew up the bottom really well and then we can bring this to the farmer's market or just when you're getting produce or maybe just as a purse because it's kind of cute too like you know what i'm saying because i still have my sewing machine here might as well just do it right now oh okay and i think i'll just i'll do a straight stitch to hold it down and then i'll just do like a zigzag stitch too because i want to make sure that this is like Obviously, we want it to be secure. So I just sewed it up like that. I don't know if you can see. And then let's just flip it back outside. Like how cute, how cute is this? And I'm pretty sure when we got this, it was like the shirt costed, I don't know, probably like five dollars or something like that. Good morning. I don't look as dead. <laughs> not that dead though. Good morning guys. I know it's probably not morning for you, but um, it's not even morning for me. What time is it? Okay, it's still technically morning, but I just wanted to quickly give my kind of final thoughts because I mean really I've only been using this for like a week now, but I'm kind of like low-key disappointed. Not like disappointed because I know that these are probably going to be better for me in the long run because of like the non-toxic fluoride alternative, you know? But I just don't have that same like excitement as I did with the, the, the hello ones. And I don't know if that's just because I have a... I'm very loyal. <laughs> like as a person, I'm very loyal. So like maybe it's because it's the first thing I tried and because I really like that. I would say for most people who are like, you know, using toothpaste, like regular toothpaste right now, this would be a great option to go to like directly because it does, it is kind of amazing. It's like this tiny little like 
bit right you have to like you know break it up with your teeth and then once you like um start brushing with like a wet toothbrush it actually starts to kind of lather like like how a toothpaste like a normal toothpaste kind of does and like creates foam so it's it gets very foamy i don't know i think maybe it's because i haven't had that in a while or i think in general i didn't really like when toothpaste like really formed up i mean foamed up and stuff like that it's not like that, but it is definitely foamy compared to the Hello ones because those ones are definitely, it's definitely more of just like a paste, if that makes sense. Another reason probably why I don't like this one as much is because of the flavor, which again, is probably I'm probably not like most people because most people would want the like minty, really minty like spearmint mint, I guess. And these are definitely like yes like very minty like a true mint like a i don't know how to i don't know how to describe it it's like a sharp mint you know it kind of like hurts a little bit like it's like very cold you know and for me i kind of liked the hello ones again i'm sorry um because it um it was just more like a candy kind of mint flavor you know what i mean like it was more like it wasn't like sugary but it was less minty if that makes sense it felt a little more balanced, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just like have to look at the different flavors and see if there's another one that I would like better, but I'm pretty sure they only have like mint, the mint charcoal, the one that I got, and then like berry blast. And I don't know if I would like berry, so I might just have to stick with this one because I have been getting more used to it. It's just kind of very cold feeling, you know? I don't know. This one definitely does have a different sensation when you bite down on them because yes it does eventually foam up but it just feels a little harder like at first contact so it definitely feels like you're biting into like a mint from a mint container you know the mouthwash feels like that um because they're a little bit more like like discs a little bit and i don't know and i just also feel like i don't know if this happened with the other one too but it does kind of get in like get stuck on the tops of my teeth you know i've just been noticing like with the mouthwash since you don't use like a brush or anything to brush it around it kind of gets stuck there so i have to like kind of like move it away with my tongue and stuff it's definitely i'm definitely like going to still use these because um i've been needing to get mouthwash and i don't want to like i mean unless there's another like a better product on the market that's like you know low waste and all this stuff. I'm not sure how I feel, really. Like, this is kind of dis disappointing. I'm sorry for this weird ending, but like, I'm just a little like on the fence. I don't know if it's just because I'm loyal again. This is like probably the one-stop shop, basically, for someone who is using to regular toothpaste right now and wants to, wants to cut down on their waste, you know, with like the plastic tubes and like stuff like that and plastic brushes and floss or whatever and this would give like a very similar consistency consistency to like lathering regular lathering toothpaste i actually would say this is a little bit more satisfying i feel like it's like magic kind of because it's like it's a tiny thing and then you just like start brushing and it's like foam i don't know what i'm talking i'm just rambling now because i want to like make make this better this a better ending if you have tried these let me know in the comments but i'm kind of i mean i'm still i obviously have a lot more to go so eventually like once i get to the bottom of these then i'll definitely know for sure if i want to keep using them but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video it's kind of different from what i've ever done technically on this channel I am gonna go because I have to quickly edit this and upload because I am late. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And if you're subscribing today, welcome to my room and to my zero waste dreams or low waste dreams. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I will see you guys in the next video next week. Hi. I just had I just realized why they're called bite <laughs> and like the whole thing of like because it's the earth because it's the earth bite. Mhm. Mm just had to say that. Okay, bye.